Hello, Scorpio. This is your June 2018 reading. Sorry I'm late, but it's better late than, lover, ne better late than never. Let's try to get these out for everybody this week. If you can see all these, June 2018 Scorpio. Scorpio, June 2018. I'm trying to see the right camera. i got two going on here. That one. June. Hmm. Tower situation must have happened already. Scorpio, June 2018. Scorpio, June 2018. Possibly with an air sign, Queen of Swords. Scorpio, June 2018. How's everything been going? How was May? Let's hope June's a little bit better. Now, I read them as the cards come out. If they're not positive the way you want them, want them to, it's not my 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 fault. It's the universe giving you a message. And this is not going to relate to all Scorpios. This is just for those it is intended to, you know, reach. So you kind of upset over the Queen of Wands in reverse. That's a that could be a fire sign. That's a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and maybe they're kind of on the outs. I'll have, have no fury like the Queen of Wands reverse. You hear me say that all the time. It's just a fire sign that's really not happy or they have a lot of fire energy and they're quick tempered and, and they'll really um, let you know it too. So let's find out what's going on. Yeah, you kind of got your happiness ever after type situation kind of in a muck. It kind of went downhill a little bit. Yep, it's a love situation. It's a love card. So let me see. I want to make sure I got everybody can see it. Because even though I'm looking at the screen, it's showing that you can see the cards. When I actually upload it, it's not there, you know. So it's like I'm kind of blinded. So if you can't see these. That's why I try to tell you what the cards are. If I miss, I'm sorry. Let's find out with this lover's card situation. I do shuffle these prior, and I do concentrate on each sign. That's the way I do. I got a secret to it um, of meditation. I'm not going to tell you how I do it, but um, I want to find out why this Ten of Cups is in reverse with the lover's card, or the, or the Two of Cups attached to it. I always call it the lover's card because it's really a lot of like, yeah, you're like kind of trying to think of what to do. Am I? What am I going to do about this? You got the Nine of Wands here. Now the Nine of Wands, can't see that because it's such a glare. The Nine of Wands is someone who's looking at what can I do about a certain situation. It could be work, could be family, could be anything. But they're contemplating, how am I going to make this work? I just, ugh. And they may, uh, someone may be a little over controlling in this situation. Someone's going to domineer the other. They're going to put their foot down. They're going to say, with, I have spoken type situation. So now the other person is wondering whether this is the cross watcher or the Scorpio thinking, what am I going to do? Now as a goal, yeah, change. Two of Pentacles. You may have to be juggling. Someone's juggling. Could be two different people, two different work situations. Uh, it could be school for some people, but they're juggling. They're, they're trying to keep things going without dropping it, without messing up, without and, and it's hard to do. They got to concentrate to do it, and that's your goal is to juggle something that's kind of difficult. Like I said, it could be anything. It's usually the same type situation though, but it's two different uh, products or people, jobs. It could be a job because it is pentacles. Okay, why is the Pentacles your goal, Scorpio? Why is the Pentacles your goal? Yeah, because there's no give and take. Because you got the Five of Pentacles there, it's in reverse, and it's attached to the Two of Pentacles, which is upright. So someone's wanting some give and take, and they're they feel like they're uh, uh, taking on all the work, all the situation. That's for some of you. Others, it's two different people they may be juggling. Others, they're feeling like. Um, they got the world on their shoulders and they got to take care of everything. In the past, you had a wish, you had happiness. You had happiness in the past. Maybe it was with the Queen of, you know, the Queen of Wands or, I don't know, I mean the Emperor. Could be with the Emperor or that, you know, Queen of Wands or 
but you had a happiness situation. That's what I'm trying to figure out. You see me kind of like stopping and, and thinking it's because I'm trying to uh, bring in the energy to figure out what this is about. And I don't still like to spit out a bunch of stuff just because. But you got the Nine of Cups. That's called someone who's happiness. They had happiness. You had happiness in the past, Scorpio. Yeah, it's, it was chained, though. It's, there's a devil card. And the devil card is bad. It's, it's, it's not a terrible card. Everybody thinks it's, it's a god-awful card. It can be, depending on what's attached. But maybe you're attached to this... Uh, chained to this happiness situation in the past, you're wanting it. You were wanting it really, really bad. I mean, you really were. And you were really, almost obsessed over getting this happiness in the past. Foundation, Three of Cups. I got that for uh, Aquarius, I think, too. Three of Cups is in reverse. It's the foundation. You're not partying. You're not celebrating. You're not happy right now. That's what it's basically saying in the foundation, the Three of Cups. Why are you there? Why are you in reverse? Why are you there? Yeah, you're coming out of sorrow, though. You're not celebrating, but you're trying to come out of sorrow because you got the Five of Cups in reverse. And the Five of Cups, um, you got three cups uh, spilt before you and two full cups, but people are not uh, usually looking at the two full cups. I'm thinking you're trying to look at the two full cups. You're not exactly celebrating, but you are trying to come out of whatever is going on in your life. You know, that's negative. Yeah, and in, in the next few weeks you're going to be getting some balance. You have the balance card. That's good. The art card, some people call it temperance. It's just more or less you're gaining balance. This isn't the upright, it's a good card. Everybody wants balance. So you're going to obtain some balance. Why are you there, balance? What's also attached to that? Can you give me more information? You're going to gain more balance. There's a Knight of Swords reversed, and usually when they're in reverse, they're chaotic, and it's attached to this balance card. So this also could be a person that's in your life. It could be you. It could be your energy you're picking up. Um, and you're feeling like maybe some words could have been um, said, you know, shouted out, forcefully put out, and, and you'll be gaining balance. Or whoever's around you, you're going to be gaining balance maybe with this person that's in reverse. Now, possible future advice. Or the outcome, a judgment. Someone's going to make a sound decision, a final decision. That's what that means. When I see this card, this is a final decision. Someone's not budging on a decision. So a final decision, whatever is going on in your life, Scorpio, you're going to make a final decision, or someone's going to make it towards you. But uh, let's find out. Why is, it, why is this card here? Why is it, you know, it's like judgment almost. You're going to make a decision. It's going to be over finances, too. Your independence. Maybe it has to do with that, you know, Two of Pentacles. You're juggling everything, and it's getting too much. Because that's what happens with the Two of Pentacles. It eventually becomes too much. You can only juggle so long before you drop it. The Star card. That's what's coming towards you or what people think. People think it's hopeless, whatever situation. you got people around you that's thinking, oh, this is so hopeless. Um... It's better not to listen to people all the time so you can get, get, regain this balance, but they're thinking that maybe you're not regaining it, but you are. Um, the star card, why are you in reverse? Why are people thinking this? This is also outside environment, what's coming towards you. But I think it's people. I think it's someone coming, you know, other people making a judgment call against your situation, as people are known to do. Star card, why are you in reverse? Why are you in reverse coming towards Scorpio? Four of Pentacles. They may be holding back. I'm not going to tell you that. But people are, are they're, they're not having a whole lot of confidence in you, even though you're, you are gain, regaining this balance. Hopes and fears. The Princess of Wands in reverse. It's your fear. Hell have no fury like the Queen of Wands. Hell have no fury like the Princess of Wands. It's the same thing. Uh, just different ages, different age group. Could be a different fire sign. But as your fear of this turned around wands energy. Why are you there? Why is that a fear? Even though it's a good reason to fear. 
You may be afraid to have this passionate beginning with this fire type energy. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be just someone with that mentality or that energy they're taking on. And the Ace of Wands is also um, a Wands energy. And you may be afraid, it's in the upright, to take on this energy. The outcome. Chariot in reverse is not moving quite forward as fast as you want it to. You're going to still be juggling in June. Still, you know, having your plate full, as they said, as they say in many card readings, but the chariot is in reverse. And it's not terrible in reverse because you're not chaotic running all over the place. You're just stopping. You're taking a break, it looks like. You're just not moving forward with the, maybe with this relationship so far. Maybe you're going to think about it with this nine of wands a little bit. The chariot, why are you there for Scorpio? Why are you in reverse? Knight of Cups, you may make an offer later. You're waiting to make an offer later. You're just not going to do it in the first two weeks of June. Could be longer. You're going to hold off on making a love offer, or someone's going to hold off making a love offer with you because it's a Knight of Cups. I'm thinking it's your energy you're going to hold off. As a, Like I said, that could be Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer. But I think that's your energy. You're holding off on moving forward so quick, and you're going to gain, regain balance. So, you know, take your time. You know, you know, you don't have to move forward too quickly. And um, you got the sun card is the overall. Can you see that? I'm trying not to get the glare. The sun card is the final outcome overall energy. So happiness is going to occur. You're just going to wait it out. Okay, Scorpio, that is your reading. Talk to you later.